Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is Cyrus Griffin. Now as a young man from a wealthy Virginia family, Cyrus Griffin went to Scotland to get his education in the law. And while he was there, he met a nice woman who struck his fancy named Christina Stewart. Problem is, Christina Stewart came from a noble family. And her parents said, well you're not just going to marry some colonist. So, they decided to elope and snuck off under the cover of darkness through the hills of Scotland to sail back to Virginia, where they lived their life fairly happily, but I will note, this gave Cyrus Griffin a bit of a distaste for nobility. So when people started saying that we should be, you know, revolting against the English crown, he was all for it. And he became a very important member of Virginia's delegation to the Continental Congress. He first went after independence in 1777, but Cyrus Griffin was short, soon appointed to the Court of Appeals in Cases of Capture. Now this was a board of three justices and it was essentially the first federal court system because they would decide what to do with ships that were captured at sea and who should be rewarded the spoils of those prizes. Now Cyrus Griffin was not an original choice but George White declined and Cyrus Griffin was his replacement and we're lucky he was because the eight years from 1780 until 1788 that this board existed he was on it the entire time even though the other two positions did change hands. Cyrus Griffin then would go back to the Continental Congress and he would be elected as president of the Confederation Congress. And not only that, but he was the last president of the Continental Congress as they called it, but Confederation Congress as we know it under the Articles of Confederation. And while he was president, two major things happened. Again, president of the Continental Congress or the Confederation Congress is more of an honorary term. He would sign documentation but didn't have a lot of responsibilities, but he did oversee the debate. He oversaw the debate as introducing Kentucky as the 14th state, but they turned Kentucky down. And the reason was, this vote was one day after the Constitution had been ratified by the requisite 9th state. And bringing them, Kentucky, in as a state would look like a sneaky maneuver. And they instead decided to wait the several months until a vote was had and the new government under the Constitution was created so the new government could make the decision if Kentucky should be a state. And, spoiler alert, it would be, but it would be the 15th. Anyway, Cyrus Griffin, furthermore, was president of the Continental Congress, a.k.a. Congress of the Confederation, when the vote was had to accept the United States Constitution. Now, the Constitution had been ratified, so essentially the decision had already been made, but Cyrus Griffin's responsibility was to call in the Continental Congressman and say, hey, let's vote. Do we accept that everyone has ratified the new government? And they said, yeah, and he had about two more meetings over the next two months and then closed the Continental Congress. There would be a few more meetings after this, but only one or two people would show up. And essentially, Cyrus Griffin handed over the keys of government from the Articles of Confederation to George Washington and the United States Congress. Interestingly enough, after Washington became president, he was appointing justices and Cyrus Griffin was appointed as the judge of the Federal District Court of the state of Virginia, which became arguably the most important court in Virginia at the time. The only federal court, and at a time when they were establishing courts in Virginia, was the most powerful state. And he would hold this position until his death 20 years later. Now, I do want to give a big shout out to my Patriots on Patreon who make this channel possible. If you'd like to help support the American Revolution content I produce here, please go to the link below. I have all sorts of extra behind the scenes content and extra founders and lots of fun stuff on that page. So see if you like it. Uh, either way, definitely hit like if you enjoyed this video because I put out videos here five days a week and subscribe to make sure you get every single video I put out. That's it for me. I will see you with a brand new founder on Monday.